Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre, Whitney Pier. Madam Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Advanced Education. Just two weeks ago, this government announced a new CCA training program that relies on NSCC faculty and staff to respond to the pressing health care challenges facing this province. The fact of the matter is NSCC faculty and staff are giving their all to ensure residents of Nova Scotia are taken care of. Why then is the, this government not ensuring that NSCC faculty and staff can take care of themselves with wages that keep up with inflation? The Honourable Minister for Advanced Education. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Thank you to the member opposite for, for the question. Uh, we need CCAs across the province. We've done record uh, number. We, we've had, we have record number of CCAs that have gone through the program. We know that NSCC instructors are also a part of the solution. NSCC right now are um, there. I, I certainly respect the collective bargaining uh, process and they're in the middle of that. It would be certainly inappropriate for me to comment on that. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre, Whitney Pierre. Madam Speaker, I'm happy that the minister brought up the collective bargaining process and that he doesn't want to get involved in it. Because we've heard concerning reports that NSCC received direction from this government to not adjust pay scales for half of these workers, despite the fact that their wages are nearly 14% behind inflation, and they haven't seen collective wage increases in over a decade. Can the minister explain why this government issued this direction and denied fair wages for these workers? I recognize the Honourable Minister of Finance. Madam Speaker, is the member asking us to, to, to collectively bargain on the floor of the legislature? I think so. Okay. I think so. I don't think that's appropriate, Madam Speaker. Uh, people who respect collective bargaining do it at the collective bargaining table. So, Madam Speaker, we're not going to collect a bargain on this floor today, Madam Speaker. Uh, that should happen at the table. That's where listening also happens. That's where communication happens. And we're not going to do something that is it's quite ironic, Madam Speaker. Many times, how many times have we heard, you should not be trying to collectively negotiate away from the bargaining table. We're trying to respect the parties that we're dealing with at the negotiating table. Yeah.